Congressman Mike Rogers from the House Intelligence Committee and a man who knows this back and forth as well as anyone. Congressman, it's been a while. Good to talk to you. Good to talk to you, Steve. Thanks for having me on. I mean, it's got to, for you, this has got to be difficult to watch as large sections of Syria, which we had an opportunity a few months ago to make a difference there, falling into the hands of ISIS. A large sections of Iraq now falling into the hands of ISIS. And if we're not careful, we will be redrawing the map of the Middle East. Uh, no doubt. And we won't be redrawing it. Uh, you know, the factions of al-Qaeda-minded groups will be redraw- uh, redrawing those maps. So, yeah. And here's the problem. And th- this is this big notion. You know, Bush obviously laid out what was going to happen. That's why so many of us were all the president decided he was going to unilaterally withdraw from Iraq. Uh, and set the stage for what is a growing disaster for us. We have an al-Qaeda army, not just an al-Qaeda group hiding in caves. We have an al-Qaeda army with heavy machine guns. They apparently have two helicopters, a billion dollars in cash that they've stolen, a billion, cash and a billion. And they're holding a safe haven the size of Indiana. This is their dream come true. Uh, And... Again, it's because we decided we didn't want to have the hard conversations about uh, how we make sure that these guys don't get safe haven anywhere in the world. And I don't care if it's Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, or uh, even uh, parts of Africa. There are things we can do. doesn't mean full military engagement. But if you don't continue to disrupt them, they're going to try to come and get us and cause us uh, you know, real harm. Well, seriously, and, and, and I, I, we all understand that you're leaving after this term. But you still spend some time in your district, obviously, and you're connected. You've been there for several terms. Obviously, the work you've done um, means a lot to you. How do you look somebody in the face that is the mother or husband or uh, son or daughter of one of the people from Michigan, from your district, that went to Iraq or Afghanistan and gave the ultimate price and paid with their life and then to watch this? How do you, you know, talk to these folks now? Well, it's incredibly difficult. Now, the only thing is, I have not changed my position. I took this position when it was difficult and hard and people didn't want to hear it. Uh, but, uh, and that's, you know, where I come at it from. Listen, there are those of us who were saying what we needed to hear, and then there's those that told you what you wanted to hear, and I certainly wasn't one of those. Uh, this president has decided that well, people have decided it's hard, so I'm going to decide it's hard. I'm just going to pull out, no matter what the consequence. And again, if you think about this whole effort, all of this service, all of this sacrifice, it was to deny swaths of safe haven for uh, folks like this to gain ground uh, and do bad things. And these these folks are brutal. No. Brutal. Just, well, yeah, they're executing people, you know, heads along the road. Okay, let me ask you this. Congressman Mike Rogers on the line on the Steve Gruber Show this morning. Let me ask you this, Congressman. There's two, basically two uh, uh, schools of thought on this. One, that the president is so inept that he can't figure these things out, and it's a failure of leadership. The other school of thought that seems to be gaining some traction in some areas, and maybe it's, you know, right-wing extremism, whatever you want to call it, that he's doing this by design to lower, to lower our, our standing on the world stage. You know, I think it's a little bit of both. I think the the you know they had a pretty pre, a pretty first rate national security team his first term, his second term you know not so much. Uh, and I do think that candidly they're in a bit over their head. And then you add that with the president's philosophy that he does believe that uh, if we would diminish our size, ability, authority, and, uh, and prestige around the world. That would be a fitting place for America to fit. Uh, it would be a fitting place for America to uh, you know, kind of take its place amongst the other nations of the world. And I do think that's his political philosophy. The problem is, it's a disaster. It is. If you want to see what the world looks like without U.S. engagement and leadership in the world, turn on your TV. Right? The Russians in Ukraine, the Chinese in the South China Sea, uh, you know, Al Qaeda holding. Uh, swaths of land the size of Indiana. This stuff, his lack of decision and his pullback, his isolationist uh, pull, has consequences, and we're going to pay for it. And we're going to pay for it again, possibly. Just like George W. Bush said in 2007, if we don't have all-out victory in Iraq, we're going to come back someday. Congressman, I wish we had more time. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We'll talk soon. I hope so. Thanks, Steve. All right. Mike Rogers, everybody.